Friday morning, a fireball engulfed several trees and tents along I-5 in downtown Seattle. Inside a well-known homeless encampment entrenched on this Washington State Department of Transportation right-of-way. Bunch of black smoke. Witnesses say they heard propane tanks exploding. We need to get these people off the streets. Fire crews responded immediately and extinguished the flames. Authorities say one man suffered injuries from this inferno and checked himself into Harborview Medical Center. A hospital spokesperson says the victim is notorious graffiti vandal Casey Kane, also known as Eager. His tag was found on this sink, still standing in the wreckage. The 36-year-old was out on bail for vandalism-related charges. How did this start? I don't know. I just, I just got here. The Seattle Police Department Arson Bomb Squad is now investigating the circumstances around this mysterious fire. I was asleep. I didn't hear anything. I didn't see anything. To get inside the encampment, there are two entrances. A broken fence near Harborview Medical Center at the corner of 7th Ave and James Street. He's on, he's on DMX bike. Or this opening off Yesler Way. This afternoon, you could see dozens of propane tanks scattered on the grounds. Scavengers were already picking through the debris. Tremendous amount of wire from running from the generators that they were running in here with wires, cameras, all kinds of shit. And I'm going to collect the, just the wire. It's all copper. And there are clearly more than 20 tents and structures remaining on site. So far, no comment from Governor Jay Inslee or Mayor Bruce Harrell. A WashDOT spokesperson referred me back to SPD. Earlier this year, another massive fire broke out just a few hundred feet away inside this encampment. Outreach workers have been here numerous times, but it's still unclear when WashDOT plans to move in and shut it down for good.